This past week, a judge struck down Florida's Trump loving governor, Ron DeSantis's piece of legislation that would punish social media companies for uh, allegedly deplatforming politicians in the state of Florida. And we had talked about that, obviously, when he signed it into law, he signed it in May. And basically what it would do is it would find social media companies, I think what, over a hundred thousand dollars per day that they ban a politician from their platform. This was clearly in response to Twitter and Facebook banning Donald Trump or indefinitely suspending him, whatever you want to call it. And DeSantis being a good little Trump stooge decided to put this bill in place. And a day before it was set to go into effect, a judge said, yes, this is blatantly unconstitutional. You can't do this. And ironically, <laughs> the whole reason you can't do this, the judge says, is because it violates freedom of speech. You have effectively used the government to silence a company from their God-given right to free speech. And you can't do that, Ron. And I say that that's ironic because Ron DeSantis said the whole thing is about free speech. You know, we've got to allow people to have free speech. Well, unfortunately, your party has also argued in court and won uh, to get the government to recognize corporations as people. So that means Twitter is a person, Facebook's a person, and they also have a right to free speech and they can effectively do what they want with their businesses. Again, because Republicans have argued in court that businesses should be able to ban whoever they want. So this is chickens coming home to roost for the Republican party, but don't feel bad for Ron DeSantis. Ron knew that this piece of legislation was going to fail. He knew that it was not going to survive the court system here in the United States. This piece of legislation is and was essentially designed to fail because few people follow up this story here about him getting struck down in court was not major headline news. It broke late in the evening. Nobody cared. Nobody paid attention. Wasn't a big deal. And that's the point because Ron DeSantis's follow followers here in the state of Florida, you know, a lot of overlap with the MAGA crowd, basically. They're not going to go and search these stories out. They're not going to learn about, oh, wow, he did something blatantly unconstitutional. No, all they're going to know is that, yeah, he stuck it to those social media companies. Good for him. I love him. Conservatives are being shadow banned. They're being silenced. They're being suspended, whatever it is. <clears throat> we all know <laughs> based on the data that comes out every single week that conservatives have louder voices on social media than progressives and Democrats, liberals, whatever they are. Conservatives consistently pretty much monopolize the top 10 in terms of most shared posts on Facebook. They, they, they run the damn thing. Okay. Conservatives are not being silenced in any meaningful way. And Ron DeSantis knew that, but he had to play to his base. And Hey, even if they are paying attention, he can still go out there and say, look, these liberal courts, they wouldn't let me do what I wanted to do. I'm trying to protect you. We'll fight this all the way to the Supreme court and maybe they will. We'll have to wait and see, but this piece of legislation was designed to fail because DeSantis knows that his followers aren't going to do the follow-up that's needed when the courts tell him what you did was illegal.